Omnipotent God, our Heavenly Father, we come this morning, Lord, to praise you and to give thanks unto you, Lord. Thanks for all that you do and all that you've done in creation. Thanking you for being the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who you sent to earth to die for all of our sins. And we thank you, Lord. We can't thank you enough. Thank you for waking us up this morning, allowing us to come out to your thank house, you, Lord. where we may get together and praise you yes. and honor you and lift up your holy name. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For blessing our family. Yes. Thank, thank you. you for watching out for us yes. over all during the night and, yes. and waking us, allowing us to be in our right minds and yes. the reasonable portion of our health. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you for blessing oh. each and every one of us, Lord. Yes. And we pray that you will continue to bless us. Oh, yes. Bless us all. Bless us all. Look in on all of those who are sick. Yes. Bless those who are incarcerated. Yes. Bless those who are homeless. Those who are suffering because they don't have food for their yes. table. Yes. Bless each and every one of us, Lord, according yes. to their needs and according to your holy will. Yes. And Lord, we pray that you would bless our nation. Bless us, Lord. Bless our political leaders. Yes, Lord. Bless each and every one, Lord. Lord, yes. Lord we ask you to look and have mercy on us all. Lord. Lord. And keep us, Lord. Yes. Keep us near. Yes. For we need you. We yes. can't get along without you. Lord, yes. These and all blessings we ask yes. in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah, is to our God. Will thou teach? Will thou 
but God healed them and delivered them. God showed them special favor. Even though they were not his children by choice, Christians, he yet showed them special favor. And yet, and they know it. Amen. They know it. But yet they refuse to serve him and acknowledge him. Some of them say, you know, I was just, I guess I was just lucky. <laughs> and there's something about when I hear people say that. Especially, especially Christian folks. Amen. Each one of the friends became Christian. I was lucky. No, you wasn't lucky. You were blessed by me. Amen. Amen. So they were lucky or not be in our vocabulary. Yeah. Yeah. Our word, uh, I was blessed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But God wasn't lucky that he made it home. Amen. Don't be in the home. He wasn't lucky. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, God. Suffering injuries, he was blessed Amen. to make it back. Amen. And so thank God for his Blessings. Oh, yeah. And the psalmist says, He loaded us with blessings daily. Yes, he does. Oh, yes, he does. Yeah. The blessings we receive from God mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Amen. 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 Sometimes we need to use things. But when we think about it, <laughs> Amen. We live, we move. We have our being That's right. That's right. in Him. Every break we take, yes, yes. Amen, is a blessing yes, from God. Yes, yes. Every step we make is Lord, yes. a blessing yes. from God. Amen. So He's blessing us yes. all the day long. Yes. The Lord is blessing us. So that's why we're on our minds praising Him. <laughs> Because he deserves our praise. He deserves our blessing. Amen. For all his goodness he's shown unto us. Amen. You know, prayer is always needed. There's never been a time when we didn't need prayer. Some of us say the song about it. stop now is praying time. No, there's always been praying time. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Always. Uh, prayer, as the songwriter said, makes me strong when I'm yes. in oh, yes. And it's prayer that keeps me marching on. Yes. Amen. Thank God for the opportunity and the privilege to pray. Yes. I'm mean, not glad that you have a God. Yes. A God is in control of the entire universe. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God who's perfect, holy, and righteous in all his ways. Yes, and yet, he will listen to us yes. when we pray. Yes. Yes. Amen. You know, sometimes we have people that get to a point where they think they're too good to associate with yes. folks. Oh, that's right. Folks yes. come beneath them. Mm -hmm. But we serve a holy God. Yes, yes, yes. A righteous God. Yes, yes. yes. Amen. Far removed from man. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And yet, now you think about it. Yet, God will hear your prayer. Yes, He will. You can call Him up. Yes. And He'll answer. Yes, He will. He'll listen to you. Yes, he and if He can, now, see, if you can, because some stuff we pray God can't do. Because if we told you against his character, against his will for your life, then to do everything you pray for him to do. But the very fact that he gives us an audience, he listens to us. Amen. Now, y'all know, let's just tell the truth. We had in the Sunday school this morning, none of us is perfect. All of us have our thoughts and our failures. Amen. Amen. But yet I think in my lesson this 
morning and talked about God's uh, grace. Amen. How in His grace He can look beyond all the life. Yes, Lord. And He will hear our cry. Him, I will show Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help. No other help. I know. Anybody ever had to say that? Yeah. Anybody ever had to walk through? Yeah. Yeah. Say that. Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help. I know. If thou would draw thyself from me, where shall I? God, if you don't hear me, yes, yes. who shall I turn to? Amen. So thanks be to God, Thank you, God. that we have a God that hears and answers yes, the prayer. Yes, God that will allow us yes, to approach yes, His strong yes. of grace. Yes. As we prepare our hearts for prayer, we're praying for Brother Ed a Branch. I think that was the name that someone gave me. Mm -hmm. Wednesday night, Ed Branch. Mm -hmm. We're praying for Brother Ora Riverson family, Brother Ora Riverson family, Miss mm -hmm. Bobby Jean McCoy, mm -hmm. and Mabel Woolfolk. Sister Ruth Walker, Sister Denise Townsend family, mm -hmm. Brother J.B. George and family, Sister Ola Holloway, Sister Evelyn Jones, Brother Ross Gary, Sister Hallie Owens, Sister Claudette Dandridge, Sister Bessie Hallie and family, That's Tony Brown Sr., Miss Ramona Glassfield, Miss Marvel Coles, Miss Alicia Bauer and Stephanie Joe Ms. Tyrone Baker, Ms. Elroy Strickland, Ms. Eloise Lake, Ms. Chanel Bentley, Ms. Valerie Fuller, Ms. Ricky Williams, Ms. Eugene Cox, Ms. Joanne Harden, Ms. Linda Meredith, Ms. Carl Robertson, Ms. Dale Turner Sr., Ms. Brenda Woods, Ms. Loretta Johnson, Ms. Diamond Copeland, Ms. Ms. Shirley Butler, Ms. Holly, Ms. Curl Jackson, and Brother Amen. Uh, I have a hard time remembering this. This is uh, Geronimo's brother, so we might have write it down. And Grace and Jesus, we're praying for him. Amen. We're also praying for uh, Brother Richard Butler. Mm -hmm. Amen. God will be with him as he goes through. Be with him to remove all doubts and fears. Amen. And there's so many others that stand in need of prayer. Amen. Your friends and co workers who work alongside of you, remember them as you pray. Eternal God, our Father. Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the maker and creator of all mankind. The author and finisher of our faith, Lord, here it is again, we come before thy presence. We come saying thank you for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you, O God, for a reasonable portion of health and strength. We thank you that we are clothed in our right minds and have the activities of our limbs. We thank you that you are God all by yourself and nothing is impossible with you. And God, out of all the names that are mentioned, you know each one, you know their condition, oh God, and you are able uh, to bring healing to their bodies. Those that are facing surgery, 
God, we ask that you would be with them, be with the surgeons. Yes. And God, those that are recovering yes. from surgery, we pray that you would uh, give them a speedy yes. recovery. Yes. God, we realize that you promised in your word never to leave us, yes. nor to us. Oh, yes. Yes. And you are God that have proven to yes, be sir. faithful yes, to your yes, word. Yes, For you have never left us. Yes. You have never forsaken us. Yes. You stood by our sides yes. when things were going good with us. Yes. You didn't abandon us, but you stood by our side. Yes. And God, we thank you for how you bless our families, how you bless our children, our grandchildren. We pray your continued blessings be upon them. For realize that the enemy is busy seeking whom he may devour. And he has no respect of persons. He soon must take the life of a child as that of an adult. So we pray that you would keep our children in the hollow of thy hand. Protect them in daycare and in uh, school, Lord God. College, we pray that you would keep them in your care. For we read in your word that except the Lord keeps the sick, the lady with the watchman watching in vain. Except the Lord builds the house, the lady will build it in vain. And so, God, we come to you now asking you to just to look and have mercy upon us, creating us clean hearts. And renew in us right spirits. And oh God, give us the strength, the mind, and the ability to live in such a way that will be pleasing in your sight. We thank you for all things. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for being a forgiving God. For the record is all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But thanks be to God. You said that if we would confess our sin, that you are faithful and just to cleanse us of our sins and all unrighteousness. So God, we say thank you. Bless our worship service that your Holy Spirit abide with us. And let us leave here feeling better than we did when we came. We thank you now. It's in the name of Jesus, our Christ, we pray. Amen. Announcements of things that's coming up. Uh, is sponsored by the NAACP. Uh, Wednesdays at 11 a.m. at the Tower and Echo Center. And second Sunday of each month at 3 o'clock at the Rivers of Water Worship Center. Uh, there will be a support of groups. There are a host of subjects. We are adding new things all the time. Come and have lunch with us. Let's talk, walk, and carry eat. More seniors events to come. Amen. So it's Wednesday, 11 o'clock. And then in the October the 5th is on Wednesday, 11 to 12, at the Tyrone Center. Center. All this is sponsored by the Madison Branch of NAACP. Amen. They have all kinds of association, association, understanding, and uh, responding to dementia related behaviors. And uh, certainly those that uh, might be going through the family number now, uh, this might be a good, uh, a good uh, meeting for you to attend. And that's at the Tower on Echo Center, 11 to 12, so it won't be long, just one hour on Wednesday, October the 5th. And this is some ways off, but they're having a coat giveaway and candy bags. Uh, Venice Park District, Joe Lee Roberts Youth Club, Super Share, Illinois Coalition for Community Service presents coat giveaway and bags of candy. That will be Saturday, December 17th, 12 p.m. Donations run out. Venice the Recreation Center, so they'll be giving until things run out. Uh, they will be accepting gently used and new coat 
donations can be dropped off at the Tyrone Echo Center. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, 10 a.m. to 3. So all of these are being sponsored by the NAACP. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Certainly thank God for his goodness. The Lord is just blessing us uh, right now. Uh, amen. But he'll be 
mm -hmm. a young girl. Well, well, all right. It's almost been taken as a badge of honor. Right. We say things that, well, after all, he's a man. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we sometimes give our young men a pass. Mm -hmm. But right. then, the young woman, mm -hmm. we want to condemn. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, David, let me get to what we're talking about. Uh, David knew all of these things was going on in his family. Mm -hmm. But he was so wrapped up into trying to build a great kingdom mm -hmm. until he just turned his back mm -hmm. and overlooked all the bad stuff his mm -hmm. children were doing. Mm -hmm. Eli, mm -hmm. the priest, Eli knew his dad. The church folks told Eli, mm -hmm. your sons are down here having sex with the women right on the church steps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Eli did not confront his sons about it. God had to deal with it. Amen. And it goes on and on in the Bible. Amen. Jacob knew the boys was messing up. And he failed to confront them. And so that lesson was to our fathers as well that when we see our boys that's going uh, in the wrong direction. Uh, let's not turn our backs, but let's confront them just as we confront our daughters doing things that are not uh, God. So it's a beautiful lesson all about grace. God out of this functional family, God can take a person out of that family. Amen. I remember years ago, living in St. Louis, yes, I used to drive my car down Market Avenue. I would see a young girl, and she would just be running around that car. Just running around that car. Didn't pay her much attention. But now, and later on, she gave the attention of the whole world. And that was Jackie and John. Amen. Amen. Right from St. Louis. And I'd watch her day would just drive by and just a little girl out there running around the park. Mm -hmm. Amen. So God is able to yes, raise up yeah, 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 yeah. greatness yes, yes. out of a messed up family. Yes. Amen. Yes. So, uh, amen. 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 She was a blessing. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Oh, this blessing is in Sunday school. Yes, yes. Certainly, yes. pray that yes. those of you that are not joined in with us that you would Come about with some Amen. Amen. Our text today is taken from 2 Kings, the fifth chapter. And uh, we kind of uh, starting where we left off last week. 2 Kings, the fifth chapter. But I want to go to that last verse of the fifth chapter. 2 Kings 5, 27. The leprosy, therefore a man shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever. And he went out from his presence a leper as white as Amen. 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 These were the words of the prophet Elijah mm -hmm. to his servant Gehazi. The leprosy, therefore, of Naaman shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever. And he went out from his presence a leper as white as snow. Amen. I want to talk for maybe a few seconds about the seven deadly sins. Right. Seven deadly sins. Sin 
Spirit's sake, lead to one's death. Amen. Seven dead sins. So that remains with one and death. They're all in the Bible. The Bible deals with everything. But let me name them. Number one of the seven is pride. Amen. Pride is a dead sin. Number two is lust. Number three, gluttony. Number four, greed. And number five, envy. Number six, sloth. And then seven, wrath. Amen. On last Sunday, we saw where Naples <coughs> pride could have been dead. If he had not followed the instruction of the prophet and went back to Syria, he would have died from his leprosy. He thought of the pride. He thought that because of who he was, that the man of God, the prophet, should have at least came out and stood before him. Instead, he sent a message. Pride. He thought that the river of Jordan was too muddy for him to wash in. That the rivers back home in Syria was better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His pride could have caused him his life. Yeah. Yeah. Pride <clears throat> is a deadly and deadly sin. Oh, yeah. I said it's deadly and it's a sin that's committed daily. Yeah. In this text, we see another deadly and daily sin. The sin of greed. Amen. So in this fifth chapter, we, teach, we see two of the seven deadly sins. Pride with name and greed with the hazard. Are y'all following me? First of all, let me say this. Uh, pride is pride. Pride is a feeling of being better than others. That's pride. A feeling of being better than others. Pride is essentially self Worship. All right. Where greed, that is what greed is a selfish and excessive desire for more of something, such as money. More money than is needed. A selfish desire, a selfish and excessive desire for more of something. And most of the time it's money. Greed is loving money or possessions. After receiving healing, from his leprosy, Naaman returned to the house of the prophet, pleading with him to take 
Oh, bless you. Clothed thy servant. Elijah refused his offer to take a blessing. You remember, I think it's in the fifth uh, verse where it talks about he had brought with him to pay for his healing. Right. Ten talents of silver. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you look that up, you know, uh, I don't want to try to pass myself off to some smart, brilliant folk, but you can find out anything on Google. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Ten talents of silver. Today we're equal to three point forty eight billion dollars. That's a whole lot of money. Mm -hmm. Ten talent of silver today would be three point forty eight billion dollars. Now we got six thousand pieces of gold. I think one piece of gold was 75 pounds. So you think it's 6,000 pieces. And 10 changes of rings. Clothes. 10 changes of clothes. Full dress. And I got a Amen. In verse number 16. But Elijah said, As the Lord lived, before whom I stand, I will receive none. And he urged him to take. But he refused. Amen. 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 And I'm going to jump down a little bit. In yeah. the 19th chapter, the Bible tells us to go in peace. Depart uh -huh. in peace. And he didn't get too far away. Mm -hmm. In verse 20. Mm -hmm. But behind him, the servant of Elijah, the man of God, said, Behold, my master has spared name of this serene, this enemy of ours. Listen to what the words he used in the King James. He spared name of this serene, and not receiving at his hand that which he brought. But as the Lord lived, I will run after him and take somewhat of him. Amen. And I said, I'm not letting him get away with all that stuff. I'm going to run after him. And I say it like this. Say, and I'm going to get me something. Amen. I'm going to get me something. Amen. Amen. He's not getting back to Syria with all that. I'm going to run after him and I'm going to get me something. Elijah might not want something, but I want me something. And I'm going to run it down and get me something. Have we got a Look again at verse 20. Amen. You remember Elijah says, As the Lord did it before whom I stand. I will receive none. Mm -hmm. And in the 20th verse, Gehazi says, As the Lord did, are y'all reading that? Yeah. I'm going to run after him. Yeah. And I'm going to get me something. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. As the Lord did. Mm -hmm. Elijah might not want nothing, but I'm going to get me something. Oh, yeah. Hell, I got to the Bible and Jesus talks a lot about money and possessions. Amen. Jesus says in Matthew 6, 24, 
Jesus said, no man can serve two masters. He either will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Then he makes it plain. You cannot serve God and mom. And that means mom is money. You can't serve God and money. I said the Bible says a lot about possession of money. In 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10, Paul writes, For the love of money, Nothing wrong with money. Yeah. For love of money is the root to all of evil. Every evil that goes on in the world today, you can just about trace its root back to money. Yeah. Folks are doing it for money. Yeah. Have a good yeah. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Which while some covet after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. What's that group say? For the love of money. Amen. The one who loves money is never satisfied. With money. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Have a God with me. The one who loves money is never satisfied with money. And whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with it. I didn't make those verses up, but you find that in Ecclesiastes 5 and 10. Ecclesiastes 5 and 10. The one who loves money is never satisfied with money. There is no such thing as enough. The more they have, the more they have. No such thing as enough. In the Bible, and this was in maybe one of my Sunday school lessons, when Jacob was going to meet Esau. Yeah. And Jacob had all of this stuff that he was sending up here to his brother because he felt his brother was going to kill him for what he had done to him. And so trying to appease his brother, he sends all of this wealth ahead of him uh, to his brother. And when he and his brother meet, they talk and he says to his brother it's about his gifts. And his brother says to him, God is paraphrasing, Say, man, I have enough. The Lord has blessed me. And I don't need your gifts. Because I have enough. Have I got a witness? But those that love money, there's no such thing as enough. Only more. How can I get more? And regardless of how much they have, they'll never be satisfied. Always seeking a way to get more. Greed. Tell me how to this. Amen. Greed. I put a subtopic to this uh, lesson. Seven deadly sins. And I put a subtopic in there. Getting more than you bargained for. Anybody ever got more than they bargained for? Amen. Hey, there was a, a lady that had this real nice diamond wedding ring on, and it, it was nice. I don't know how many carrots it was or whatever, but it was really nice. Another young lady saw it and said, Oh, what a beautiful ring. I wish I had. Oh, and I wish, I wish I had that ring. Yeah. And the woman said, 
Young lady, you don't know what you're asking. How many of you wish you had this ring? Amen. You're looking at the ring, but you're not considering what comes with this ring. As a man, it's not too nice. It comes with this ring. Amen. 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 In order to have this ring, you got to take what comes with this, with this yeah. array. Sometimes we can bargain yeah. more than we get more than we bargain for. Amen. 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 Guys, I chase Naaman down like some people chasing after money. And that's what he was doing. Chase Naaman down, and Naaman meets him with a greeting. It's all well. God's answer, all is well. Amen. Remember this. Amen. Blessing one. Greed opens the door to all <coughs> kinds of sin. Right. Oh, yeah. You know what Paul said in 1 Timothy 6 and 10? Uh -huh. Amen. He said, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Oh, yeah. Well, greed opens the door mm -hmm. to all kinds of sin. You know, people will do just about anything. Love money. People will do just about anything to get money. <coughs> when they love money. Have They rob, steal, kill. Tell me about it. Greed opens the door to all kinds of sin. Listen. Amen to the eyes of about the 20th uh, verse. Amen. Oh, let's go down a little bit further. Amen. 22. <laughs> guys, talk with your name. My master sent me. Lie. Greed opens the door to all kinds of sin. Amen. His greed now leads him to lie. It's plain in the Bible. My master sent me. Elijah sent me. Have I got a witness? Say, behold, even now, from my effort, two young men of the sons of the prophet. Lie. Amen. <laughs> Give thee, I pray thee, a talent of silver and two changes of God. All right. You see how this greed leads to open the door for other sins? Not in mine. Amen. Amen. Greed also opens the door to deception. Yeah, yeah. Naaman thought Gehazi was telling the truth, yeah. but he was deceiving him. Mm -hmm. Greed mm -hmm. leads to lying, and All right. deception, yeah. just to get something. Mm -hmm. Listen to the words of Naaman. Let me read it from another Bible. By all means, take twice as much. <laughs> so one tablet, no, take, take two tablets. <laughs> By all means. <laughs> Name of his sister. And he gave him, amen, double changes of clothes. <laughs> Have I got a witness? Amen. Two talents of silver. Two changes of garments. Amen. Tied up the money 
and two bags and sent two of his servants to carry the gifts for Gehazi. They carry the gifts. They, they, they don't know what's going on. And coming to the tower before he got too close, amen, uh, to where the prophet was, comes to the tower. And he says, can I just paraphrase the boys? I, I can take it from here. I, I can take it from here. Amen. amen. I can take it from here. And he took the gifts. And what did he do? Amen. He hid them in his house. Help God with this. He hid them in his house. Thinking that he had pulled a fast one. Not for thinking they think they got over it. They then got away with something. He thought he had pulled a fast one. Deceived and lied to Gehazi. Amen. Thought, amen, that he had maybe gotten away with something. Have we got a good Amen. But, amen. He got more than he thought. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He thought that nobody knew yeah. what he had done. Oh, yeah. I heard somebody say this sometime this morning, but you can't hide nothing from God. Oh, God. God sees everything. Yeah. And my brothers and sisters, there is nothing you can do. I know you know this. But I think I'll remind you that there is nothing you can do that God does not see. I don't care how dark the corner might be or how far off you may go. There is nothing you can do that God Strange how we worry about people seeing us. We worry about getting caught. But brother, if you are a child of God, you already caught. You caught before you got started. Because God sees. We've been studying all year long from the book of Proverbs. And this Wednesday we'll be in the 24th chapter. The Proverbs 15 and 3 says, The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Amen. Beholding the, the evil and the good. Have I got the God has stood before Elijah. Standing before the man of God. Elijah said to him, No, God, he didn't have to tell Elijah nothing. God had already revealed it to Elijah. While he was lying and going on. And Elijah, he might say, I saw you when you left. In the spirit. See, Elijah was a real prophet. How God witnessed He was a real prophet. He stood before Elijah. And Elijah asked him, give him a chance to come clean. Where have you been? Your house. His answer right the Bible. I haven't been anywhere. He replied. So now he lied to the name of God. The prophet. Lied. I ain't been nowhere. I've been up in my room all day long. He's lying to the man of God. But Elijah asked him, 
Don't you realize that I was there in the spirit? Amen. I was there in the spirit. And likely had, had a, 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 well, I'm going to call it a strange power, but it had the anointing and the power of God. As it was said of the prophet Elijah, when the king was worried about who was spying, spying on them, who was telling uh, the enemy what they were doing. Somebody said, nobody tell the enemy, but there's a prophet in Israel that can hear what you're talking about even in your bed. Have a God Elijah says to him, I was there. Amen. In the spirit, mm -hmm. when Naaman stepped down mm -hmm. from his chariot to meet you, mm -hmm. they asked him some questions. Mm -hmm. Is this the time to receive money mm -hmm. and clothing? Oh, yes. No, Elijah could have had Elijah could have had all that money, mm -hmm. all the clothes, mm -hmm. and everything else he thought he could have had it. But he turned it down. Mm -hmm. Have I got a witness? Yeah. Amen. He turned it down. Is this a time to receive money mm -hmm. and clothing? Mm -hmm. And to those that are trying to make a hustle mm -hmm. out of the healing power of God, right. they need to read what Elijah says. Yeah. Yeah. Have I got a witness? Yeah. Is this a time to receive olive groves, vineyards, sheep, cattle? Male and female servants. Mm -hmm. Is it a time for that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Is it a time for that? Amen. Yeah. In our text, in verse 27, mm -hmm. listen, Ahaza got more than he bargained yeah. for. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because you have done this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look how he brought a curse on his entire family. Mm -hmm. You and your seed, yeah. Yeah. your descendants, oh, yeah. will suffer from Naaman's lips. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he brought a curse on his whole future mm -hmm. descendants. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. How do I got this? Mm -hmm. How do I got more than he? Oh, oh, yes. So, the lesson in this lesson, as we close to us today, mm -hmm. this is the lesson. Be careful mm -hmm. wanting other folks' stuff. Amen. 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 Be careful yes, wanting yes. other folks. You might get more than you bought for. Be careful wanting other folks' stuff. Have a good Amen. Since you wanted name stuff, since you wanted name stuff, have all of it. His silver, okay. his clothes, okay. and his nerves. Okay. Have all. So if you want to make stuff, just have, have all of it. Okay. And when the high side left the room, he was covered with lips. His skin, and this is a severe case. His skin was white as snow. My brothers and sisters, beware of greed. You might end up with more than one. It was Judas. I'm close. It was Judas that went to, I believe, the chief priest. And said, How much will you give me if I betray Jesus? Yeah. 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 Now, 
much in your hand? How much will you give me if I turn it over to him? And they bought it, and they came up with a price. We'll give you 30 pieces of silver. That was the agreed price. And Judas took the silver, put it in his bag, and sought out an opportune time to betray Jesus. And we all know the story. He betrayed him in the Garden of Gethsemane with a kiss. And the soldiers grabbed him. Jesus said, Judas is about to betray the Son of Man with a kiss. And they grabbed him, rescued Jesus. Now let me run through this. And, and uh, things didn't work out like Judas thought they would work out. And so he took that money, yeah. went back to the high priest's palace, oh, yeah. and said, I have sinned against innocent blood. Right. They say, what is that to us? <laughs> you did me that. Yeah. And he took that same 30 pieces of silver yeah. Yeah. and threw it yeah. onto the palace floor. He got more than he bargained for. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And he went out. And y'all know the rest of the story. He got a rope yes. and found a tree. Oh, yes. And he hung himself. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Have mercy, Lord. Oh, yes. And the Bible says in the book of Acts, after hanging there for a while, yeah. even the rope gave out. For the limb was weak and broke, and he fell to the ground. And the Bible says, being as close to dinner time, his burst his entry or his guts came out. How about it? He got more than he wanted for. Come on, tree. But then that was Jesus. Went to Calvary. Oh, yes. Galatians said he too hung on the tree. Yes. Yes. With a cross. Yes. He hung. Yes. Let him die. Oh, yes. For all of our sins. Yes. Have I got a witness? Yes. He died. Yes. That we might have a right yes. to the tree of life. Yes. In his death. He purchased for us yes. eternal salvation. Yes. Have God with us. Yes. He purchased for us eternal salvation. Yes. Amen. Amen. Judas' death didn't benefit nobody. No. But Jesus died. Yes. It made a difference yes. for the whole world. Yes. Have God with us. The third day morning, yes. he got it. Yes, he did. God raised him. Yes, he did. Thank you, Lord. All power is in his hand. And he's alive right now. How do y'all know he's alive right now? God the Lord. God the Lord. So let us be aware.
rose for your justification. Amen. If you can believe that in your heart and confess that with your mouth and acknowledge your sins, he's willing and ready right now to save you. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Just now. Just now. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Just now. He will save you. He will save you. He will save you. Just now. Just now. He will save you. He will save you. Just now.